Okay, I'll rush her over TV. Check it out. Wait, do you see this? Hang on. <laughs> I just got my new toy. Look at it. It's a glass tube solar cooker. <laughs> you believe that? Huh? This is going to be fun. I'm going to build a frame for it right now. This is going to be part one. Video one. Look at that. That slides in there. It's got a thermometer on it. I've seen this on uh, YouTube. And, uh, guy had two of them. I'm gonna make, there's the plywood. There's the base. And I got a two by six. I'm going to make it like a little cradle for this thing to sit in. Then go from there. But too cool, huh? This will be fun. And the ones I've seen, they work good. They heat up to like 350, 400 degrees. They're cooking chicken and burgers and eggs and everything else in them. All right, I'm going to get started. Okay, I am doing a voiceover on this because I didn't. I tried micing myself, but it didn't work out. So I'm measuring out two by six. I'm making two pieces, twelve inches long, and this is going to be part of the cradle. All I have is that 12 volt saw and a jigsaw, that's it. <laughs> okay, I'm making a second piece, identical, just mark it out. Okay, there's the tube. And there's the piece. I'm gonna make a cradle out of it. It's not going to sit all the way in there. I'll leave about an inch and a half at the bottom. And then the two cradles will screw to the plywood. Hopefully it works. It's what I got in my mind right now. Okay, on the plywood base, it's going to be 32 inches long by 16 inches wide. Using a framing square there to make a square cut. And that's going to be oversized, the, the tube. The tube is only 28 inches long. So that leaves me a little extra on each end. And hopefully this thing will be stable once I build it. Okay, here I'm going to double check the width, make sure I'm doing it okay. I don't want to cut this thing too short. The block is 12, 16 looks good there. So I decided on 16 inches wide. Okay, putting a mark cross, and I'll rip the board with that uh, 12 volt scale saw. I've used that saw for everything. It's about wore out. I need to get a new one. Okay, I'm marking out for the cradle. I just stood the tube on the end and 
I've already put a mark down. I measured lower three inches on each side in and about two inches up because the top will be sticking above the wood a little bit. I'll show you here. And there's my mark. That should be plenty of wood. Uh, when I screw it to the plywood, that'll it'll hold. The wood won't split. You make it too thin, chances are that thing will split. I'm adding a C-clamp to help hold the wood. That, that's just too hard to hold with one hand and try to hold that uh, jigsaw. So I'm going to set the clamp and that will make it a lot easier to do this thing. Voila, there it is. I wanted it a little loose, so I oversized, I cut outside the line. And once again, using that jigsaw was very difficult. A band saw would be perfect, but I just don't happen to have one in my motorhome or in the desert. <laughs> but I can make that work. I'll figure out a way to secure it in there pretty good. So. Very happy with that. So I'm going to make a second one right now. And I'll be back. Okay, there it is. There's two cradles and the wood base. That'll be the base for the solar cooker. Pretty cool, huh? Do that in the desert. <laughs> okay, gonna lay it out real quick for I uh, drill and put the screws in. Don't want to drop that thing. There it is. Too cool for school. <laughs> there you go. There's the cradle for glass tube solar cooker. Total investment in the frame is about less than 20 bucks. I'll give you more info on the tube, and man, you can feel the heat in that tube. The thing's gonna work. Hey, I'm real happy where the boards are. I'm gonna mark it out with a pencil. Then I'm gonna pre-drill the holes before I run the screws up through the plywood. Okay, I'm going to pre-drill through the plywood before I run the screws up into the cradles. Keep the wood from splitting. And I'm going to put four sheetrock screws in each cradle to the wood. And I might add another bracket later. Once again, this is just getting the cradle built, and then we'll go from there.
and it's done it's all put together double check it make sure everything looks good there it is I like my work table that chair <laughs> Pretty solid. I'm gonna figure out a strap. Gonna go across that cradle and I will pad that tube in there too. So, a little more engineering on this one. Alrighty, well, I got some leftover paint. It's gonna be black for now. I'm gonna get some paint on this. I wanna seal up that wood. And then from there, We'll go into part two. We'll put the tube all together. There's some foil I need to add for reflection. There's quite a bit the strapping. There's quite a bit left I need to do yet. And this is just going to be pure fun. A solar cooker that hopefully works. <laughs> all right, this is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Part two's coming up soon. Take care.